so I am with a very jubilant Simon Weaver after a 3-2 win against Orchenham. Early Christmas present, Simon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, big three points that for us against a really good team. Uh, we took the game to them early on and uh, reaped the rewards with the three well-taken goals. And, and then uh, yeah, it was a close encounter the second half. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> it was a close encounter the second half. They're bound to come at us. They had nothing to lose um, from being 3-0 down. We got the one before the half-time break and, and uh, we knew there was going to be some pressure uh, through everything at us. But uh, we stuck in there and credit to the boys. I thought they were superb. I mean, to be fair, I don't think anyone could have really imagined sort of like racing into a three-goal lead. I mean, what were you saying to Macker on the bench when that was happening? Um, is it really happening? <laughs> uh, no, I, I know what we're capable of, you know, and it's been a quite frustrating season up, up to this point um, because I know what we're capable of and we see it every week in training, Tuesday, Thursday nights, and it's not quite clicked in yet, but I think you saw big signs of it clicking in today and um, hopefully we're coming good just at the right time. We've got to give, obviously, give special mention to Woodsy. I mean, that first goal was an absolute rocket. Oh, Corker, wasn't it? I mean, what a goal. Um, he's, very, he's very capable, you know, of, of producing that kind of goal and performance. And um, the more he plays, the more uh, fit he'll obviously become and, and sharp. And, you know, hopefully we'll have more special moments with the Arrogate fans when, when he's on the pitch. A lot of people might sort of point to the team lineup and say, you took a bit of a, a chance today. I mean, obviously, young Connor Sellers coming in and you played Craig Nelthorpe in the left back. I mean, Obviously, Dave Murray's dropping down to the um, the bench. You know, what, what made you think that that was the lineup to go with? Well, first and foremost, I mean, Mez has been brilliant for me. Um, it was we were honestly giving him a break the other the other night. Um, he'll probably benefit from uh, you know a little freshen up from having a rest for a couple of weeks. But to be honest, I thought Nelly did ever so well the other night and created a lot of width for us and um, bombed on a lot. And I thought he merited uh, playing again uh, today. And um, I explained that to Mez and the pro like. Uh, He's such a good professional, he understood completely. But um, no, I didn't really uh, take a chance on the team, I just thought from the other night there were a lot of positives, and uh, it's all about momentum the game, isn't it? And um, I thought we were an attractive team to watch, and that's what I want here at Harrogate Town. And um, we took it up and forward again today, and especially in that first half and out. I mean, Connor, do you know, watching him in the first half, he was getting stuck, and he seemed mm. to be. You know, a gem of a player. You know, how how do you bring him on now? What's you know? What, I know he's on a well, dual. Just, uh, I, I think it's nothing complicated with him. Just I just want him to get out in the park and play and play as if it's jumpers for goalposts kind of football. And he's that kind of player. And so is Woodsy. And we just need to supply those front players. And and then hopefully we can, um, as I say, create more and, and be a really creative team. Because when we play the one-two touch football, it's great to see and it produces chances. I mean, we went uh, to 3-2. What, what are your thoughts when that second goal came in? It seemed to feel while you just went a little bit nervy, but then we seemed to get the composure back again. Uh, yeah, uh, they, they were really coming at us, but we they, they kind of went to the 3-5-2 and the push beat bodies forward and the wing-backs played as, as wingers, out-and-out wingers. and it, They stopped us playing a little bit. Um, I still thought we, we didn't make the pitch as big as, as we could, as we did first half. Uh, and we went into protective mode, but that's human human nature. It's, it's quite difficult to change that. Um, but the tactics they employed, obviously, they went uh, more direct and, and went for the second balls and went for set pieces. And in this league, that can be proved positive sometimes. But um, I still thought we were dangerous on the counter attack. We've got a lot of ability. You know, Cleveland Taylor came on and again looked sharp. Uh, and Hawley did too. Uh, but I, we we also changed the tactics with 10 minutes to go, about 10, 15 minutes to go, and we took about five in, and I thought we were very solid, and they didn't create a chance during that period. And of course, obviously sets up now nicely for the midweek match against Hendersford. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's another big game, and um, we wanted to get back on winning uh, terms today, and, uh, and that's what we've managed to achieve, and that's five wins out of six. So it, it, we want to go into the Christmas program um, with a lot of positivity and. Hopefully the attendances will be good and um, we can have a good Christmas and New Year. Superb. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you.